Hello, we've been learning about the beautiful, bright, bold pop art of the modern artist named Peter Max. And we've been looking at his hearts and trying to copy some of the things he did. Like when we drew our hearts, we left a little space at the top and the bottom. And we made our lines thick and bold for the shape of the heart. We looked at how he put some dashes around the perimeter of his heart paintings and also added in some fun lines like wavy lines that make them look like they are moving. Today, we're gonna to try to do some finger painting. So I have some sparkly metallic paint and everybody is gonna get just one drop of some different colors. You also have a paper towel ready so you can wipe your finger. And we're gonna start like this. I'm gonna start with my heart. I'm gonna put just one drop in your heart. And then, when I tell everybody to start, we're gonna take that finger and very carefully, we're gonna move it around. I'm gonna follow the shape of my heart. So I'm gonna do some curves and try hard not to get the paint on my clothes. Let's see if I can take some of this red and put it on the other side of my heart too. Oh yeah, this looks great. I'm going to see if I can keep the red inside of my heart and not go outside of it. Oh, that looks wonderful. Very slow and careful. Now I'm going to use my paper towel and I'm going to wipe the red off my finger. All right. This paper um, looks really good with the sparkly metallic finger paint on it. Next I'm going to try to do some blue over here. So I have some blue sparkly paint. I'm going to get just one drop. And then we're going to paint very carefully. We don't want to get paint on our desk. We don't want to get our paint on our clothes. And you can see the crayon shows through the paint. Now, a lot of times we saw wavy lines in Peter Max's art. So when I spread it around, I'm thinking about wavy lines. And I'm just going to do this section of the card because I have some other colors of sparkly paint too. And I want to leave some of it thick and some of it kind of thin. I'm going to use my paper towel and wipe my finger. Next, let's see, I have some sparkly orange paint. So over here, I think I'm going to try some sparkly orange paint. Just one drop goes a long way. I'm going to carefully use my finger. I'm not going to try to get it in the red paint that's wet. Oh yeah, that looks beautiful. Uh, I'm not going to mix too much with the blue. They might touch a little bit, but not too much. If you get a little on your desk, that's okay. This is washable paint. It will come off with water. Oh, that orange looks so good. And I'm going to use my paper towel and wipe my fingertip. Let's see, what other colors? Hmm. Oh, I bet I could use some yellow sparkly paint. Just a drop, though. It goes a very long way when I use a drop, especially if I'm careful. I'm going to do the yellow over here next to the blue. Just a little drop. I'm still trying to show wavy lines. If I mix my yellow and blue a little bit, I can start to see some, a little bit of green. slow and careful. I'm going to wipe my finger on my paper towel. And then for the last bit, oh, I think I want to try to do some sparkly green paint. That would be fun. Just a drop. Oh, wow, 
can't wait to see how your finger paint art card turns out.